Hey you guys, so this is a basic tutorial on how to make a QuickTime movie player or a .move file, MOV. So first thing you want to do is open up Interface Builder, or if you want to make you want to make this a project, go ahead and open up Xcode. But I'm just going to do an Interface Builder tutorial. So we can just do Window or Application. So I'm just going to do Window and make sure it's on Cocoa, not Carbon. Click Choose. All right. Now I'm just going to do it in Interface Builder because I don't want to save it. So make your screen, um, I guess, around this size. And then you want to go into your objects in your library. Scroll down until you find QuickTime Library QuickTime Kit. So drag in the QuickTime movie file. And let's make that that size. Get some space at the top. So, and then you're going to want to select this and then click choose the movie I just put a sample movie on the on my desktop so then that's gonna be like that and that's enough space so you could save it right now if you want I'd like to save a lot because you know if you mess it up so at the top we're gonna want to put in any button that you want so I'm just gonna put in a push button and then you're just gonna command C it and then command V V V and paste it a couple times just align them up just so everything's ready so when you have to type things on there it's easy so let's just put these into the middle just like that uh, the first one we're gonna name that play the second one we're gonna name it pause the third one we're gonna name it go to start and we're going to name the fourth one go to end and we're going to name this last one let's see oh we don't need the last button okay so let's just select these and move them over to the center for the play we're going to do control drag it in play pause we're going to do control Pause. And go to start, we're going to put go to beginning. And go to end, we're going to put go to end. So you guys can save it here if you want. And now we're going to test it. So click, hold on a second, let me just make these even. Hit Command R. It should open up in a IV Coco simulator. And We'll, we'll select in a second where you want it to, where you want it to start. So just click play. Pause when you want. Go to the end, and it does the end. So you can go start. Click that space bar or play. Pause. Then you click Command Q, close out of that, go back to this. So for this, you can make, um, you can customize this if you want the display before we drag anything in. I like to do the light scroll view, even though you're not really going to see it. Um, you can change the buttons if you want, and there's not really much that you can else you can do. You can replace, I'm not really sure what the replace button does. So let's just find out what the replace means. Replace. Command R. And it sometimes, you see how it says this? That's because if you see how the, the background, you have to just click dark text color. If you put the background like differently, then it's gonna it's gonna have problems. So see how it works this time. I don't even know what I don't even know what replace <laughs> what that does. So that's how you make a basic QuickTime movie player. And let's test that one more time. 